Hey guys, my name is Sam and today I want to take a quick look at Air Max Lite by Nike. These released in early January 2019 and it comes in a classic red and white Nike box. Pretty standard, no special accessories or anniversary card but we're not here for the box anyway so let's get right into the shoes. This is the Air Max Lite OG. 2019 marks its 30th anniversary so Nike decided to bring back these late 80s runner in its original colorway. It was first marketed as the Air Max 2 being the second Air Max to feature the visible airbag. But a quick note, this is technically the third Nike shoe, if you include the Air Stab. But as you probably know, Nike then released the 90 and so on. Speaking of the 90s, you may notice the slightly bulkier design and shape, as well as the red foam of plastic eyelets that remain on the Air Max 90 design. However, the lower modcard design takes a nod to the original Air Max 1. You could also say the grey felt overlays takes a nod to the Air Stab. Other classic Nike features include Nike Air at the tongue tab, as well as embroidered at the heel. To me, the Air Max Lite is probably the most underrated Air Max. It wasn't included in the history of Air Pack in 2005, and yes, that is a big deal. <laughs> However, I feel like the Air Max Lite is pretty innovative. It features a firmer plastic strap that underlays the felt mid panel that also doubles up as eyelets for extra stability and comfort. The Air Max Lite also ditches the previous polyurethane midsole for a lighter phylon midsole, which also improved cushioning and long term durability. Last but not least, the Air Max Lite also has this two piece interlock sole design. This colorway is very clean, but my main problem with this shoe, and I know I sound like a broken record, is quality control. The uneven paint job, stitching errors, especially at the Nike Air at the Hill, kind of kills it for me. It's a shame because I really like the Air Max Lite. It's like a sleeker version of the Air Max 90, but still a little bit chunky, just how I like it. I'm not really a fan of the heavy grey laces that's included, but if you're planning on picking these up, I'll definitely swap them out for some fresh white laces. Yes, the materials aren't the same, but the overall Air Max Lite feel remains. So if you're an Air Max collector, I'm sure you've already picked these up. But even if you're not a collector or sneakerhead, if you want something a little bit different, definitely give these a try. I personally had to pass on these for now. I recently picked up those 4Ds, £300, and then paid resale for those Air Max 90s. So the sneaker fund is running a little bit low at the moment. <laughs> but I wanted to quickly get this in for you guys. So let me know what you think of this shoe. Do you plan on picking these up? Did you pass? And do you agree with me? Is this the most underrated Air Max? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment collect to show me you watch this video to the end. Please subscribe if you like my content and follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Heartface. I also have my stuff for an app called Depop so you might want to follow me on there too. As usual all of the links will be in the description apart from that, have a good day.